in the previous session uh, we have seen how to write a Verilog code and test bench for the buffer in this session we will see how to write a Verilog code and test bench for the transmission gate before writing the Verilog code and the test bench for the transmission gate we know that uh, when we take the MOSFETs or the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor there are two types of MOSFETs one is the PMOS and the NMOS when we see the characteristics of the PMOSFET or a PMOS pass transistor it conducts good 1 and weak 0 and when we see the characteristics of the NMOS it conducts good 0 and weak 1. So we have told the characteristics of the PMOS which conducts good 1 and weak 0 and of the NMOS it is good 0 and weak 1. So if you just see uh, there is a deficiency of the PMOS such that it conducts weak 0 and the deficiency of the NMOS is that it conducts weak 1. To overcome the deficiency of the two pass transistors of the PMOS and the NMOS we would be building an another uh, digital logic which is called as the transmission gate which is the combination of both the PMOS and the NMOS. So we will see uh, the representation of the transmission gate which contains the combination of the PMOS and the NMOS. So we will define the PMOS and we will define the NMOS. So a bubble that is defined uh, which is used to provide an active low input is the PMOS and we do have the NMOS will provide the inputs let us define uh, this as uh, the input and we will define the particular output we will provide the variables the inputs of the PMOS and the NMOS are driven by a control switches with uh, respect to the inputs let us define NMOS with a variable of s and NMOS, we know that NMOS which is a complement of PMOS let us define this as S bar and input with a variable of I and the output with a variable of Y. So this is a, a representation or a symbol of the transmission gate. If we see the working of the transmission gate, what we have told, we have the control switches or the control signals. So we will define the control signals with the NMOS. Let us define uh, it as S and we have input which is I and we have the output which is Y. If we provide input of 0 to this particular NMOS, if we provide S is equal to 1 to the input of NMOS and we do have PMOS uh, which is a complement of NMOS, S bar would be equal to 0 and both the transistor would be in the on state when the 
in the nmos when s is equal to 1 then the nmos would be in on state and we have the pmos which is a complement of that and when s bar equals 0 the pmos would be in on state that would mean that both the nmos and the pmos are closed switches now and whatever the input we provide with respect to the input it is moving through the PMOS or through the NMOS or the combination of PMOS and the NMOS to the output. So we will just define uh, with respect to the true table and we have told that when S is equal to 1 then NMOS would be in terms of the on state and the PMOS would be in terms of the on state whatever the inputs we do provide. Let us say we do provide 0 then that would mean that this particular digital logic 0 it is moving through the PMOS because it is a closed switch and through the NMOS because it is a closed switch to the particular output. So suppose if you do provide an input of 0 then the output would be 0 and next if you do provide the input as 1 when the select signal is 1 then the output is also 1. So whatever the inputs we do give it is moving through the PMOS and the NMOS because both the transistors are in on state and it has a closed switch. So it is moving to the particular output the output is equal to 1. So we will just define uh, the next condition let us say when the select signal of the NMOS is equal to 0 and again uh, in terms of the PMOS which is a complementary of that then the S bar would be equal to 1 then the NMOS would be in terms of the off state it is an open switch and the PMOS would be in terms of the off state uh, which is a particular open switch and whatever the input we do provide either it is 0 or it is 1 so the signal is moving and it is stuck up near uh, the open switches of the particular PMOS and the NMOS and the output that is obtained it is in terms of the high impedance state. So what we have told when the select signal is 0 with reference to the NMOS whatever the inputs we do provide let us say it is 0 then the output would be in terms of the high impedance state let us say it is 1 when the select signal is 0 and the input is 1 then the output would be in terms of the high impedance state. So uh, this is uh, the working of the particular transmission gate and, and we have defined uh, this with the true table when the select signal is 0 then whatever the inputs we do provide either 0 or 1 then the output would be in terms of the high impedance state when the select signal is 1 whatever the input we do provide if you tell it is 0 the output would be 0 if you tell it is 1 then the output would be in terms of 1. So we will write uh, the Verilog code and the test bench for this particular transmission gate in terms of the behavioral modeling style. So we will first define the Verilog code, the starting instantiation with the model followed by the module name, let us define it as TR followed by the ports list, we have told that input signal is I, select signal we have defined it as Y. S we have defined it as S and the output uh, we have defined it as Y. 
so it is the ports list and we'll define the ports declaration input i comma s next the output which is y and next instruction we would be using it as a register uh, we have told that a register which holds the value of the particular variable and again which defines the particular value of a variable which is y and in terms of the behavioral modeling uh, we need to start with always at with the sensitivity list of the inputs which is the i comma s we'll start the particular statement with an if else begin if select signal is equal to 1 then output follows the input if the select signal equals 1 the output follows the input else output would be in high impedance state so which is one bit of a representation which is in terms of the high impedance state so we'll end the declaration and we'll end the particular module with the end module so this is the very log code of the particular transmission gate and we'll write uh, the test bench to define the functionalities of the particular transmission gate a, a test bench again module module name tr underscore an extinction of the transmission gate and we have told that our registers our registers what we have told it is the inputs i comma s we will just define i comma s and wire which is an output uh, which is equal to y and next uh, we do have uut which is called as unit under test uut it is the interlinking of your verilog code with the particular test bench dot i s y next starting declaration of the input it is the initial begin and we will define the inputs when let us see the first criteria when s is equal to 0 and the input i equals 1 so the simulation is starting from 0 and we are telling that s is defined by 0 and i equals 1 and next criteria of inputs let us define when s is equal to 1 i equals 0 for 10 nanoseconds that is from the 11th nanoseconds of your simulation s would be 1 and i would be equal to 0 so next you can define n number of inputs we will just define another two inputs s is equal to 0 i equals 0 for the next 10 nanoseconds s is equal to 1 i equals 1 for next 10 nanoseconds so we will just define the functionality of the particular inputs with n and we will close with uh, respect to the whole end module which is equal to the end module so uh, this is uh, the very log code for the particular transmission gate and for the simulation we have written a program uh, with the test bench and we have told that uh, in the transmission gates the pass transistor of pmos conducts good one and weak zero 
and for the NMOS it conducts good 0 and weak 1. So there is a deficiency with the pass transistors of PMOS and NMOS. To overcome this deficiency we have a combination of both PMOS and the NMOS which is called as a particular transmission gate. Thank you.